All right, we're gonna disassemble this Zestava P10. This is like a Tokarev or an M57, a little bit of a long grip on it. Kind of an interesting pistol. Uh, first thing we wanna do is just make sure that there's no magazine in the bottom and there's nothing in the chamber. So we've got an empty gun and we're good to disassemble. Next, that slidey bit, we're gonna move that over. Uh, I can do it with my hand. Oh, you might wanna strike it out if you want to. Uh, I could just move it over with my hand. You might need to use something to uh, to push it over, like the base pad of the mag is fine. It's plastic, and you can use it to pull it over if you need to. Next, push in the slide stop, and it'll just fall out from the other side, and then you can pull forward on the slide. Uh, you can take the hammer unit and pull it straight out the back if you want to. It's kind of interesting. It's not quite the same thing as the Tokarev or the M57, just a little bit different. Uh, inside there is mostly the same. Now turning our attention to the slide, the recoil spring is on a guided, kind of like movable reticulating, I don't know, it, it wiggles in the middle there, <laughs> like just like the M57 does. Next we can take that barrel bushing, move it to 12 o'clock, pull it out, flip over the little link there, and we can pull our barrel out and we can clean the barrel now. Uh, definitely uh, clean out the uh, ramp on there, anywhere in the lugs, the bolt face is a good spot to clean. A little bit out the back is, is a, a good idea as well. If you wanted to, you could push that firing pin in and then pull out that firing pin stop and, uh, and clean that thing as well. Why don't we put it back together? Put the barrel back in, slide it until it falls down into the recesses there, grab your barrel bushing, pop it in, rotate it to the correct spot. Now getting the recoil spring and guide is a bit tricky. See that round part? That's gotta go against the barrel. So we're gonna stick it in there. We're gonna get that link out of the way, that little oval piece there. Then you gotta push it in, you gotta get it so that it, uh, it goes into the little recess in the front of the uh, barrel bushing there. Once that's all in, it'll just kinda feel like it's in the right spot. Then we can go, and t go ahead and take that slide and pop it back onto the frame. So we just pull it back there. You don't need to pull it all the way back. We're just going to look to see that we can see through the link into that hole. Carefully put the slide stop in. Don't scratch the side of the receiver. And then take the retaining pin and slide it over top. Just like that. Next, to test it, you're going to pull the slide back. Again, we're, we're empty here. Mag's empty. Chamber's empty. And we can just test the trigger. Hold the trigger down. Test the reset. So we'll let that go forward. And then test it once more. Just function test it. Make sure it's working correctly. If you want to, you can check the half cock position, just see if that works properly as well.